All right, everybody. All right, Zane with Really Easy AI. And it's time to talk about Google Gemini with Google Docs in 10 minutes or less. So if you don't know already, uh, Google has incorporated the Gemini product into all of the workspace um, products. So that's Docs, that's Sheets, uh, that's um, you know presentation slides, rather and on and on it goes. And of course they are, right? They've got their Gemini product, they're gonna incorporate it into everything. So we're gonna take a look, a quick look at doing Gemini with Google Docs now that it's been incorporated into the product. So here we go. So first and foremost, the um, introduction of Gemini, the biggest problem I think it solves is what I call the blank page problem. When you're staring at a blank page and you're just not sure what to write, and I suffer from it really really bad i am terrible with blank pages i'm great at modifying but i'm absolutely horrific at, at blank pages so i need something to get me started and jim and i really solves that first so for me it's really been a lifesaver so uh basically here's how it works you start a new document uh, now in Gemini, we have the Help Me Write feature, which is, you know what, sorry, now in Google Docs, we have the Help Me Write feature, which is actually Gemini. And you can always spot the AI stuff because it'll have that little star looking thing next to it. All the AI products use that as kind of our indicator that that's AI. Um, and then Help Me Write lets you write whatever you want. And this is kind of cool. So let's check this out. Let me demo this for you. So here we are in Google Docs. I'm going to start a blank document. Right away, you can see it uh, you know, has the outline, has the help me write, meeting notes, email draft, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna go with help me write. <clears throat> now, stop and watch this for a second. See, it's actually cycling through different ideas for whatever, right? Help me plan a birthday party. Help me write a recommendation letter. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm kind of glad that they did that. So. Uh, if you weren't sure what to write, then this would this would kind of get you going and, and urge you in a specific direction. In our case, we actually know exactly what we want to write. Let's say that we're working at a company and we want to hire a developer um, to, uh, we have an open position for a web developer. Actually, it's what we call a full stack developer, somebody who can write all the stuff. And we may not even fully understand it, but we're given a spec and we have to write a job description for it and so for example let's say somebody gives us a script and they say hey we need a full stack developer that knows the mean stack and you may not even know what the mean stack is that's okay jim and i does so we'll say <coughs> we need to hire a full stack developer that knows the mean stack write me a job description for this position to make sure they have at least two years of experience click on create and away it goes and so it's actually going to go through and create a description, right? We're looking for a talented, experienced, full stack developer, join our team. The ideal candidate will have a strong understanding of the mean stack, MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Node.js. That is exactly what the mean stack is. So even if you don't fully understand what, um, what it is, this thing will, uh, this thing will uh, write a uh, job description for you. Actually, that's a terrible description. Let's, uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, let's go ahead and write a full job description. We need to hire, da, 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 write me a full uh, job description here. I'm going to make a minor modification. Um, yeah, woof, man, the editing kind of blows in this thing. But I'm going to say write me a full job description because I really want, and I'm going to click on update. I don't want it to... I don't want it to be short. I want a big old job description. There it goes. Okay, now we've got it. It's a much more full job description. Job title, technology, reports to, and then all this good stuff. So now I can click on insert, and there it is. Now, it may not all be 100% correct because I really didn't give it a ton of detail, but it gets me started, and then I can make edits to it as we go along. So this is number one, the biggest advantage to having this is to avoid the blank page problem. Now it gets better uh, using Gmail. So now what we can do, for example, maybe we want to send some information uh, to uh, via Gmail. Well, we can do that as well. You can literally use Help Me Write to do that. Uh, so for example, let's get rid of this. We'll go ahead and make this go away for now. I'll go ahead and move that to the trash. 
And uh, actually, let me show you something real quick. Let's see here. Let me, oh, crap. Well, looks like I already did it. All right, never mind. I'll show it to you in a second here. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Help me write. And what we're going to do now is let's say that um, we're, I don't know, the head of a company. I'm the head of my company, right? And uh, we want to write a recommendation letter for somebody. Okay. I can say write an email letter of recommendation for a student, Janet Wiggins, who is going off to my alma mater, somewhere university, um, uh, and did an internship at my company, Zaneco, for two years learning business. My name is Zane All right. Away we go. And notice I said write me an email letter. Well, that automatically cues it to add this email, extra email piece to it. And then it gives me, it says, has the email piece that says, Dear Admissions Committee, I'm writing to recommend Janet Wiggins, blah, blah, blah. We click on Insert. And uh, now you can come up here and actually click on these and add in stuff. It's pretty cool. So where it says Person, you could click on that and add somebody in from your list, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, now, having done that, uh, you can add additional people if you need to, whatever uh, you need to change as well. Uh, obviously, we'd want to add a subject, um, you know, nation letter, and so on and so forth. Now, it gets better than that because in addition to all that, you can refine your output. Oh, crap. Uh, real quick reminder. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you would, please. I would much appreciate it. Uh, anything you do besides just watching the video helps the algorithm so much. So take a minute. If you enjoy the content, like, comment, and I'd really like that subscription. We're almost to 100,000. So help us get to 100,000 and beyond. I could really uh, use your help. And if you want to keep the channel going, this is the best way to do it. All right. <coughs> now we can refine our output. And let me show you how you do that. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, <coughs> I've been under the weather and I'm trying to get back on top of the weather. But let me show you a couple ways you can refine your output. So uh, let me trash this and go to a little, uh, back to uh, the first example because I, I kind of like that one better. Because uh, I think it lends itself better to some of the refinement techniques. So I'm gonna do a help me write. And let's say we're doing that job description again. And then, um, you know, it spits out some stuff. Well, one of the things is you can do, right? So it spit out some stuff here, right? We see that. But you can come to the refine, and now you can change a number of things. Most notably, tone, formal or casual. You can summarize. <coughs> Again, you probably don't have a need to summarize this. It just put it out. Bulletize, elaborate, shorten, or retry. Well, elaborate means lengthen, and then you got shorten. I don't know why they didn't just say make longer. So let's go ahead and click on elaborate. And it will put more stuff into the job description, which is great. And so it puts more stuff in. Again, my resolution is kind of low. It's make it easier for you guys to read. But it definitely put a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Now, that's one way you can refine. There is another way you can refine. Let's say you want to refine like this line right here. Well, you see when I highlight that, I get this nice little button here. I can click on it. And I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of getting cut off. It's really weird. But it's, it's a help me write button. And so when I highlight this, I can click on it and I can change the tone, make it more formal. And it actually pops in and, and shows me a more formal idea. I can say, uh, I can either insert or replace. I'm going to replace and it replaces it or should have replaced it. Yeah, it did. And then kind of get that. All right, there you go. And so let's try it again. Uh, engage in troubleshooting, debugging uh, items efficiently. This time we'll change the tone to casual. See any kinks or glitches? Yep, we'll do a replace. Actually, insert or replace. Let's do an insert. And you can see then what it did was instead of um, instead of replacing it this time, it actually just inserted that text. Now, in this case, it really wasn't a good idea. I should have replaced, but there you have it. So you can do that. You can do a variety of other things as well. Now notice when I don't have anything highlighted, it just says help me write. But if I highlight something, then I can continue to refine. And so I can summarize, bulletize, elaborate, elaborate, shorten, and rephrase. Maybe I'll just do a rephrase on this one and then just do a replace. There you go.
problem solved. So that's so that's how you do it. Pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, and I think that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward once you get you know, the hang of it. Always remember, by the way, the things I didn't show you, like if you're looking at a bunch of stuff and let's say somebody sent this to you, you could always highlight a bunch of stuff, uh, come over here to the button or right click and go to refine selected text and click on summarize and it would give you a summary as well. So uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of great things you can do. Have fun exploring it. Try it out. See what you can do yourself and let me know what you think in the comments. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.